Welcome to the Sharoness Richardson Community Hospice of Sheboygan Falls in Manitowoc to our virtual memorial wreath laying ceremony. With the COVID-19 restrictions, uh, we were unable to do our live program this morning. However, the hospice and the veterans in the We Honor Veterans program thought that this is something that could not be set aside. And so we move forward with doing this virtual presentation because of the importance it is to us and to the veterans and the families that are out there. My name is Mike Liebelt, United States Army, and I'm going to be the MC of the program today. Assisting with the program, we have Dwayne Wick, United States Army, Wayne LeClaire, United States Army, and Conrad Kaz Kazkowski, United States Air Force. So with our colors already in place, I ask all veterans to please stand at attention, present arms. Ready? Two. And now, all of those, will you please uncover for the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance? Dwayne, the invocation, please. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we pause today to remember these veterans who have spent their remaining days at Sharon S. Richardson. They have fought for our freedoms, which we still enjoy. We pray you would have us all look to you for strength, comfort, and guidance. Be with them and bless them and their families. Father God of unfailing love, we are gathered here today as friends and family of our loved ones who departed from this world recently and came into your presence. Lord, it is not easy for us to stand here and eulogize our beloved, but we know that they are now together with you in heaven. As we honor these loved ones, let the unconditional love that you showered upon them during their life help us to learn how to love others unconditionally like these beloved did when they were with us on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Recover. You may be seated. Memorial Day, what's the first thing that people think of? Brat fries, picnics, going on vacation, the first part of summer, heading down to the beach. Well, for veterans, it's got a little bit of a different meaning. Today is the day that we remember those who served our country and went before us. Memorial Day was born out of the Civil War and a desire to honor our dead. It was officially proclaimed on May 5, 1868 by General John Logan, National Commander of the Grand Army of the Republic. In General Order No. 11, the 30th of May, 1868, is designated for the purpose of strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in the defense of their country during the late rebellion, and whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, and hamlet churchyard in this land. The date for Decoration Day was chosen because it was no anniversary of any particular battle, and it's now observed nearly everywhere as the last Monday in May by Congressional passage of the National Holiday Act 1971. Who I'd really like to thank today are the brave men and women who we're remembering, but they're not here with us. 
They're only with us with our thoughts and our memories. Those from all services who are buried in countless cemeteries across the nation and the world, those who swore to give up their all, to include their lives, to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Those who gave their all so we can be here today. They defended our freedom and our way of life. And as many veterans know, freedom is not free. Look around where you're gathered at the friends and family here. Remember that you are the reason that these brave men and women raised their hand and swore to give up their all, including their lives. They did this so our great country can continue to be the great bell from which freedom rings. If they were here today, what would they think? Would they believe that the sacrifice that they made was worth it? Would they believe that their sacrifice wasn't in vain? I truthfully feel that these wonderful men and women are here today in spirit. And as they're around us, they're smiling and nodding their heads in appreciation of what we're doing. And they're saying to one another, yes, this was really worth it. This is the greatest country on the planet of the earth, and I'm so proud and happy to have done my part. Thank you. And now we will read the names of those who have passed. <coughs> and again, assisting me will be Mr. Kaz Kazkowski. Reginald Barber. Stephen Becker, Alan Beck, Kenneth Bermke, James Birch, Daniel Blaudzun, Gordon Blay, Marlon Bonestagel, Leon Bowl. David Buzikowski, Dean Brocker, Richard Buckholz, William Burris, Richard Bird, Douglas Carey, Harry Cronus, Richard Cornell, John Damro, Daniel DePachter, Thomas Detroit, George Deegan, Roland Dursky, Severio Dorsano, Clarence Drury, Gordon Exley, sir, Ronald Fenner. Donald Fisher, Neil Fors, Jerome Fox, Joseph Ranzone, Lloyd Fritz, Peter Galbrisi, Herbert Gerand, Roy Glasgow, Leo Gluckenstein, Ronald Grismeyer, Alfred Grzynski, Eric Goose, Raymond Hain, Vernon Holly, Glenn Harkas, Helmut Haupt, Raymond Heiting, Gerald Hores. William Huffman, Roger Hoag, Richard Holler, James Huber, Barry Hubrixy, John Huberty, Wilbert 
Yankee, John Janikowas, Dwayne Johnson, Rodney Johnson, Arnold Carl, Richard Carley, Jack Keitel, Roger Kelling, Kenneth Kellner, Richard Klein, Wilford Kleinhounds, Rodney Klobuchar, Elward Klumpenauer, William Klobelortz, Ronald Kepke, Larry Kunzman, Sherry Locke, Carl Labine, Richard Lackenshire, Grover Landwehr, John Lang, Russell Larson, David Lorbecki, Charles Loritz, George Lloyd, Laverne Moloch, Robert McLaughlin, Alfred Meyer, George Meyer, Ronald Miller, Robert Neighbor, William Neal, Henry Neroff, Ralph Neroff, Vernon Olson, Elroy Ott, Richard Otto, Norman Parrish, Keith Peterson, Edward Phillips, David Pilon, Frank Petrolsky, Kenneth Porter, James Raphael, Frederick Romer, Ronald Remling, Victor Richter, Ruth Rader, John Ross, Kenneth Sabrowski, Stanley Schmidt, Ronald Schmitz, Raymond Schultz, Eugene Schutte, Dennis Severson, Jeffrey Sixel, James Slaby, Michael Smith, James Splitgerber, Leroy Staff, Mark Studdike, Wilmer Tews, Earl Theobald, William Truby, John Erbos, Neil Vanderjock, William Van Wick, David Verley, Ronald Weaver, Richard Waymeyer, Dennis Wendler, John Weirman, Ronald Wilkie, Stephen Williams, Donald Winkler, Dennis Wirtz, Marco Zagar, Bud Zayner, William Zengler, Ronald Ziegelbauer, Roger Zorn. I would ask us to stand for a moment of silence for the names that we have just written. And now the wreath presentation by Mr. Wayne LeClaire and Mr. Conrad Kaz Kazkowski.
And now, will all those that are able please stand for our benediction and final program? Duane, will you do the benediction? Please uncover. May God bless these departed souls and protect our soldiers who now stand in harm's way. May God bless this country in his love. May God clothe this country in his care. May God forever hold us and ours in this holy embrace and grant us peace for God and country. God bless America. Amen. 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 Recover. Honor Guard, Attend, Hunt, Rifle Squad, Port Arms. Prepare to fire. Ready, aim, fire, aim, fire, aim, fire. Ready, two. Present arms. Bugler, sound taps. Rifle squad, port arms, order arms. <laughs>